Ah, oh, the first cup of tea of the day. How splendid. Jesus! <laughs> hmm? Tea drinker, come quick. There's a massive spider in the bath and you know how much I hate those buggers. Can you deal with it for me? Oh, for God's sakes, can't you see I'm trying to enjoy a lovely cup of tea here, cider drinker? Oh, oh well, I suppose I'm going to have to, aren't I? Here we go then, to the Pipsky. Holy crumpets, it's huge! You, you weren't lying, bloody hell! Oh, I, I don't know what we're going to do about this. Um, I, th I, su I think the only thing you're going to be able to do is drink it, I'm afraid. Drink it? Yes, that's right, drink it. Look, go, go on, try, no, try it yourself. No, I, I can't, Come I really on, can't. Come on, don't be scared. <laughs> go on, have a oh, go, have oh, a go. Oh, right, if I must. Oh. All right, come, come here, come here, here we go, yes. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop drinking. Ah, oh God, it's moving, it's moving. <sighs> oh, okay, this isn't, this isn't so bad, I suppose. Uh, let's drink it. Uh, help me. Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker and it's a cider that I'm actually genuinely scared of trying. Um, this is sent to me by longtime viewer and subscriber Ed Varga. Uh, he basically bought it while he travelled and visited Australia well, well over a year ago now. Uh, this is the last of three ciders from three different counties in Australia that he sent over to me and it's the one that has broken a record on my channel. Uh, today we are with, I don't know the name of the actual company here, oh it is actually, in, right, we're with Incy Wincy Cider Company and we are trying out their Huntsman 2017 bottle. Now, the reason it's broken the record is quite a while ago, I had um, a cider that was sent over to me from Sweden by, um, I believe it was Johan, um, called Guta Cider. And that was the strongest cider I have ever tried on the channel, Bar Ice Ciders. It came in at 9% ABV. This one has broken that. Today, it comes in a 500ml bottle and is a rather stonking, 9.2% ABV. That's crazy. Um, I was always led to believe that ciders only went up to like 8.5% or round about that before they started becoming more than cider, but apparently not. Uh, so yeah, I've worked out the calculations. I think this one bottle has about 5.2 units of alcohol and in the UK, you're only really supposed to have, well, you're only legally allowed to have four units of alcohol or under to be still be able to drive. So I'm very much not going to be able to drive on this bottle. So there we go. Incy Wincy Cider Company, and they are from New South Wales. So there we go. Um, I must say, I do like... I do like the artwork on there. It's really cool, really eye-catching. The background sort of reminds me of one of those um, magic eye puzzles, you know, where if you stare long enough, you'll see something. Um, and this has won the bronze medal in the Australian Cider Awards in 2018. Uh, and, it's, and it says on the side here, Cider for Adults. Mm, actually, all cider is for adults. You wouldn't want to give kids them, but oh well, here we go. Uh, and on the side it says, Wow, this is not a sweet cider. It's fermented and fabulously dry. Said everyone all the time. Produced and bottled by hand with a whole lot of love. 100% Australian grown, bottle conditioned and contains sediment. For best results, pour slowly and gently. Well, I mean, I don't mind a bit of sediment in my old ciders, so, you know, we shall see. <sighs> Right, before I get into it, thank you very much, Ed, for sending this over to me. Um, it's about like one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm definitely having this early, but it's five o'clock somewhere, isn't it? Let's get this open and just see what I make of it. 
Right. Um, there was no best before date on this. I'm not surprised because it's so bloody strong. You could probably age this for years and it'll still be fine. Um, nice little stickered cap there, as you can see, if you're a, a cap collector. So, let's see what New South Wales cider has to offer. Hmm. That's not smelling as dry as I thought it was going to be, but, well, we'll see. It'll um, probably all come out in the bottle. In the, in the bottle, in the glass, should I say. Do I dare pour it all in? Oh, go on, you only live once, don't you? Now then. There we go, it's all in. 9.2% uh, <laughs> of cider, my goodness me. Right, so, going in for the colour, and well, yeah, as you can see, really, really heavily carbonated. Good Lord, that is uh, hefty bubbles rising up there. But it is completely opaque, totally not filtered at all, so that's always good to see, nothing's been uh, tampered with there. But it's a really light, I almost want to say it almost looks a little bit like a peri, like pear juice. Um, sparkling pear juice in the glass there. Yeah, light straw colour, um, almost bordering on light, nearly clear, but there is little bits of sediment in there. Right, here we go, what does it smell like? Well, it definitely does smell dry, acidic. I'm start I'm I am starting to wonder if this carbonation is going to um going to affect it slightly. But yeah, it definitely smells acidic and dry, but I have smelt drier. <laughs> Maybe the dryness is going to be in the taste, isn't it? So here we go. Let's find out. Cheers, everyone. Incy Wincy Ciders Huntsman. Oh boy, nine point two percent. Here we go. New record for the channel. Holy moly! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, right. Okay. That's strong. Oh my god! I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it warming up my stomach. Let's go for another one. That is dry, that is strong, that is, whoa. Good Lord. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's a cider. Whew. Okay, yeah, it is insanely dry. And you can definitely taste the strength in this as well. That first sip I had just instantly knocked my socks off with just how how much of an alcohol burn I got. Is it a nice alcohol burn though? I don't know. It's a chalky texture behind it. A lighter body than I was expecting actually considering the strength. I thought it was going to be really full-bodied and crunchy and stuff. It has got, as I said, it has got a chalky texture to it. You can really feel that it hasn't been filtered down or anything like that. But in the, t in the way of flavours, it's actually not that much there. It's just all about the dryness. But yeah, for actual like flavours and stuff like that, it's actually surprisingly lacking. It's acidic. There is some vague, vague citric hints there. Bit of lemon. But yeah. Actually, with flavours, I am not getting a lot. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming this is still in date. As I said, there's not a date on it, so... <laughs> Apparently, it's approximately 3.6 standard drinks. 3.6 standard drinks. Wow. Okay. I mean, obviously, the uh, increments in Australia are slightly different to ours, but... But, yeah, it, it works out at about 5.2 units. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. But that carbonation is not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, mm. 
slightly disappointed in this, I must say. I was, I don't know. I mean, you definitely get the strength. It hits you right in the face, snaps you around. But yeah, not a lot of flavours going on here. I think this is one of those ciders where it's just literally, I'm strong. That's it. So it just hits you in the face with the alcohol burn and the strength, knocks you for six, but then it dies away. Even, I mean, no aftertaste at all, which is very, very bizarre. I mean, the carbonation is, the carbonation, sorry, I breathed in at the wrong time there and just got an alcohol hit. Um, yeah. The carbonation is calming down now, so yeah, the little acidity and citric notes that are there are starting to come through a little bit more, but that's really it. It is literally, as I've already said, just about that alcohol burn, which is kind of not that nice, unfortunately. Um, so, final taste before final verdict on this, uh, on this monster of a cider. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm disappointed in that, to be fair. I mean, I don't know if because it's the 2017 vintage, has it lost some of its flavours in time? But I'd imagine with the strength it probably hasn't. Um uh, yeah, no, that is that is disappointing, I must say. Sorry, Ed. Um I'm, I'm guessing you can't you can't like them all, but yeah. Not re not really the cider for me, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, if you want a sipper, and you want just something that's going to be strong, I mean, you can't get much stronger than this for a cider. But if you want flavours, if you want some sort of profile behind it, it's this isn't the cider, unfortunately. Um, so, with that said, I'm going to go and give Incy Wincy Ciders Huntsman 2017 a 4 out of 10. Uh, yeah, what a shame. Um, Ed, I don't know how much you, um, I don't know how much you paid for this. Um, I hope it wasn't too much. I mean, I will, um, I will obviously finish this entire bottle. It might take me a few weeks, <laughs> but I will eventually get around to finishing it. Um, but for me personally, it's not really my cup of tea. See what I did there. Um, yeah. If there was a lot more flavours going on, if there was a bit, little bit less carbonation, I feel that this could be, you know, a lot better than it is. Um, but, I mean, maybe that's what people over in Australia are akin to, you know, around the New South Wales area, that maybe this is the sort of style that they like. But as I said, for me personally, it's not, not really my bag. But I can see some people enjoying it. And with that said, that's another episode of The Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, well, once again, thank you, Ed Varga, for sending over uh, those three ciders from Australia for me to try. I really, really do appreciate it, and it's always good to see what other countries are doing in terms of cider making and the different styles and, well, the strengths that you can get as well. But until then... Uh, this is probably going to take me the rest of the day to drink, but I will definitely finish it off. Take care, guys. Till next time.